Hey, what's going on guys? Thank you for tuning in and checking out my latest video. Now today's video is going to be talking about the upcoming matchup between Earl Spence versus Cal Brook taking place over in the UK. This is going to be a tremendous matchup between the young challenger and Earl Spence versus the champion and Cal Brook. Cannot wait for this fight. Now with no further ado guys, I'm going to get right into this video, talk about some strengths both fighters have, ultimately who I'm going to pick to win this matchup, and some strategies that I think both are going to try to do to win this fight. Now let's first start off with Earl Spence and what he brings to the table on this matchup. When you look at Earl Spence as a fighter, this is a guy who is a vicious body puncher, has excellent leverage on his punches, he has a good jab to the head and body, and he improves every fight offensively in my opinion. Um, if I look at some recent performances Earl Spence has, this is a guy who has improved his combination punching, also is using a better punch variety. He's a southpaw. I've seen him make some adjustments. So he's a very smart fighter, uh, young and motivated. And Earl Spence ultimately is going to be a future superstar in the sport of boxing. This fight is going to tell us if it's going to happen right away or if it's going to be a little bit longer than expected. Now, when I look at Cal Brook as a fighter, this is a guy who has, in my opinion, the best jab in the welterweight division. Uh, his right hand is excellent. Um, when I look at Brooke, this is a guy who will give you some movement. He's a guy who will slip some punches. Uh, defensively, he'll clinch his opponent to keep them from being aggressive on him. Uh, he's a guy who also has very good timing, accurate puncher, and a very, very smart fighter. He's got a vicious uppercut as well. That's kind of an underrated punch that Cal Brooke has, in my opinion. Um, so when I look at both of these guys, they're both extremely skilled. And when I look at the advantages of both of these fighters into this matchup, let's first start off the advantages Earl Spence has in this fight. So Earl Spence, in my opinion, is a better inside fighter. He's a better power puncher of the two. I also believe that Earl Spence may have a bit better ring generalship than Kel Brook. One bad habit that Kel Brook has is he kind of hangs out on the ropes and in the corner area at times. It will just be stationary in that position. Horrible. Um, maneuvering on his part because especially against a fighter like Earl Spence who's a vicious body puncher that is the last place you want to be so I'd give Earl Spence a slight edge in ring generalship mind you this has been against lesser opponents but still nonetheless I think Earl Spence has a little bit better ring generalship and sticks to his game plan ultimately uh, all the time a little bit better than Cal Brook has in some of his fights basically in his career um, also mentally for this fight Earl Spence is on the same weight cut, the same routine as usual. Whereas Kel Brook going up the two weight classes is basically Andy Golovkin now has to come back down and lose that weight, which he will. And mind you, he looks outstanding shape Kel Brook does for this fight. But sometimes when you lose that weight, you come back down to weight classes like he's doing. Um, ultimately, it has effects on your body that you cannot foresee. And that's something that we got to look out for in this fight and, and something hopefully that does not affect um, the matchup at all, and for Cal Brook, Willie, just something that I think Earl Spence mentally has advantage of. Normally, he's doing the normal routine. This is a, you know, basically a normal weight cut for him, things like that. He doesn't have to worry about that. So I give that advantage as well to Earl Spence in this fight. Now, the advantages that Cal Brook has in this fight, in my opinion, I believe that Cal Brook is a more accurate puncher of the two. I also believe that Cal Brook is better defensively with his clinching, his head movement, slipping punches, uh, counterpunching as well. I also think that Cal Brook, when I look at these guys as a fighter, Cal Brook is more unpredictable as a fighter of the two guys. I also believe that uh, Cal Brook's experience level is quite a bit better in my opinion, even though earlier in his career he didn't face very good opponents. Uh, the fight with Porter was a very good showing. And also that aggression towards him throughout the fight was good learning experience for Brook, and we got to see that his stamina was improved in that matchup uh, when he fought Sean Porter. The Triple G fight, ultimately he took vicious punches from one of the biggest punchers in the sport. So that was something that, even though the towel came in, it's something that in a way he can build off as well because he finished the uh, fight standing with a broken eye socket as well. So he showed a lot of heart in that fight and showed that he can stand up um, to some of these punches that would have other guys viciously knocked out unconscious. Um, ultimately as a fighter when you look at Cal Brook. I also believe that Cal Brook has better timing and better hand speed of the two in my opinion. And when the fight stays in the center of the ring, I believe ultimately that Cal Brook would have the advantage when it's just straight up a boxing match 
in that vicinity. Now, some strategies I believe that both of these guys are going to try to do in this fight to win this matchup. Let's first start off with Earl Spence. I believe Earl Spence is going to try to take away Kelbrook's jab by countering him. I also believe um, offensively that Earl Spence, whenever Kel Brook ties him up, he's going to try to have some kind of maneuver to get away, whether that be a jab or whatever kind of ultimately he wants to do once those clinches occur. Something to kind of uh, keep Kel Brook at bay with those moves defensively. I also believe that Earl Spence is going to be targeting that body early. Um, I believe that when you look at Earl Spence in this fight, he's going to try to be aggress aggressive early and also back up Brooke and keep him in a stationary place like the ropes or the corner uh, ultimately in this fight. And that's going to be a key uh, points for his game, in my opinion, if he wants to win this fight. Now, when I look at uh, Kel Brook in this fight, I believe that Kel Brook, he needs to establish a jab early. He needs to use his movement throughout the fight and not get caught in corners, um, ropes, things of those natures. Against a guy like Earl Spence, I also believe that he's got to gain the respect of Earl Spence early, whether it be with his jab constantly in his face defensively or whether it be clinching, frustrating um, Earl Spence or whether it be throwing that uppercut, landing that with power to get his attention and basically realize, okay, this isn't the same type of level fighter I've been fighting against like Leonard Bundu or Chris Algieri, um, Chris Van Heerden, like guys like that, in my opinion. Early on, Brook has to establish those type of maneuvers if he wants to win this fight. And also, the biggest thing I believe in this matchup that Kel Brook has to do is he has to keep this fight in the center of the ring and make this a boxing match. Don't let Earl Spence bully him. Um, Use that advantage, I believe, physically that Earl Spence has. He cannot let that happen to him or else he will lose this fight, in my opinion. Now, ultimately, guys, my pick in this fight is going to be very tough as well because there's something else that I forgot to mention that Cal Brook does negatively. Um, Cal Brook at times where he has a lot of weight on that front foot, if you look at his stance, that's something that he likes to do, is... Brooke at times sometimes leans his body weight forward too much and kind of every not not often but he gets kind of off balance and leaves himself in a vulnerable position. It doesn't happen a lot, but if Earl Spence can time him coming in doing something like that, a body shot would wreak havoc on Cal Brook, and that's something I'm sure that the team of uh, Derek James is looking at when you're talking about Kel Brook, but mind you, a lot of that happened when he fought Sean Porter and due to Sean Porter's style, he's probably leaning forward as well. So he could get a clinch on this smaller, shorter man. So that's a, a maneuver kind of, we got to put in perspective. That may have been um, some sort of his game plan as well. Ultimately the reason why sometimes when he was punching, he was leaning full body weight forward type thing. Uh, it might've been a strategy that Kel Brook actually had um, in that encounter. Now, when I look at some matchups here, and when I look at everything that I've said throughout this video, ultimately, guys, my pick for this fight is actually going to be with the underdog, and it's going to be with Kel Brook. Now, the reason I'm going for with Kel Brook in this fight is I, be I believe that Earl Spence has not fought the necessary opponents to prepare him for a guy like Kel Brook. Uh, Kel Brook's experience is going to be, a, I think, a little bit too much for Earl Spence. And ultimately, that jab he has, I think, is going to control a lot of the action in this fight and keep Earl Spence from coming in, landing those body shots, and also pushing him back at times and allowing Kel Brook to land his right hand. Along with Kel Brook's accuracy, um, Earl Spence has some defensive issues. And against lesser fighters who don't have a lot of power, that he was getting hit a lot. With a guy like Kel Brook, who does have power, and... You saw against Golovkin, if he lands shots like that against Earl Spence, it's going to be a, a very, you know, it's going to be very hard for Earl Spence to overcome those. Um, I believe that a guy with the timing of Cal Brook, the ability to counter punch, uh, move around and fight, landing combinations while he's on his back foot, things of those nature, these are all different aspects that Earl Spence has not really seen in the professional ranks against a seasoned fighter with the skills and accuracy level that Cal Brook has. And the thing also is that Spence at times can counterpunch as well, but it's very hard to counterpunch that jab right hand the way that Kel Brook throws it 
because it's so clean, it's back to his chin and it's straight down the pipe. Um, and that may discourage Earl Spence in this fight. And ultimately, another reason as well that I'm picking Cal Brook in this matchup, that if it is a close fight, it is in the UK. It's not a knock on the UK judges. I mean, it happens everywhere in the world. Canada, Germany, uh, America. There's been some horrible decisions. CJ Ross is the worst judge of all time. She was an American judge. Um, so that is also plays a factor in this fight, that if it does go to decision and it's close, Kell Brook likely will get the nod, as would Earl Spence probably in the United States if Kell Brook was over there. So that's a factor that you have to look at in this fight. Hopefully, obviously, guys, it gets... Uh, the judges look at it fairly down the line and we get a clear, precise winner and the correct winner of this fight. But those are just some things that I think that um, why I think Kell Brook defeats Earl Spence by a unanimous decision in this matchup. A lot of variables to look at in this fight. Um, a lot of different scenarios. I could see a scenario where Earl Spence um, is going to the body early and imposing his physical strength and power on Brook, giving him a lot of problems. And stopping Brook late as well. It's one of those fights. To me, it's a 50-50 it's a matchup. But I'm going with the experienced guy. Who, in my opinion, has a few more weapons in his arsenal than Earl Spence. In my opinion. And can draw some of his past experiences. His defensive maneuvers. Uh, slipping, things like that. And those that's the biggest issue of Earl Spence's game, in my opinion. Is he has some balance issues. He has some defensive issues. And he's very flat-footed. And those are things that I think that Kell Brook can expose. And Kell Brook has improved better in his career and has slightly um, better of than Earl Spence, in my opinion, in this matchup. Ultimately, though, guys, it's interesting because I, I noticed reading on the internet, looking at uh, different things, most people have Earl Spence to win this fight. There's very few people I know that have uh, Kell Brook winning this matchup. So ultimately, interesting fight. Um, uh, you know, hey, if, if Earl Spence pulls it off, all the credit to him, man. If he, he goes over there and does the job, I'll give him 100% credit. I just think it's too early right now in the career uh, of Earl Spence. Looking at him as a fighter, going to be a very talented guy. Let me know what you guys think on this fight. Who do you guys think wins this matchup? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, also, guys, before I leave, one more thing I forgot to mention. Um, another reason why I'm going with Kel Brook in this fight Kell Brook, um, when I look at him, Earl Spence, he likes to set his feet when he's throwing punches. And when he sets his feet, Kell Brook can move around, use that jab on him, that right hand, land some accurate shots. And that will frustrate Earl Spence, in my opinion. And when his feet aren't set, he can't land those vicious body blows or set up shots uh, from the head to the body, things of that nature. You look at it, for example, Triple G. Triple G likes to set his feet. Look at when Daniel Jacobs was moving around the ring. He couldn't set his feet. That's something that Earl Spence likes to do is have his legs set and land those. He likes to get a lot of leverage. So when you don't let him set, offensively, it's going to screw up quite a bit of his game, in my opinion. Uh, so that's another factor why I think Kell Brook will win this fight due to his movement, accurate punches, uh, clinching, things like that. As long as he doesn't let Earl Spence set. That's a huge thing in this fight and something that I should have brought up earlier in the video. All right, guys, that is it. I got everything out of my system. Hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown. Um, let me know what you guys think on this fight, what you guys have for a prediction. And if you guys enjoyed the video, guys, uh, I really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much, guys, for tuning in. Uh, once again, appreciate it, guys. Thank you.